Hi, and uh, welcome to Leadership Ethics. My name is John Pianowski. I'll be your professor for this intercession class. Uh, I've been teaching ethics uh, at the University of Arkansas uh, for, for quite some time now, and, and this course is a culmination of, of several efforts uh, that I have in both my research and in my teaching where I try to bring together these ideas of ethical decision making and moral courage which is a phrase we'll define throughout the course of the semester and and leadership and how we how we interact with people and, and, and how we work with organizations to make them more efficient and effective and equitable and and of course ethical so uh, I want to walk you in this very first video blog through how the class works and what you can expect. It's an intercession class, which means that things move very quickly. We've got two weeks to cover a lot of material. Uh, but I don't want us to get so focused in just our reading and our consuming of information that we don't spend a lot of time thinking and sharing ideas because I really believe that social learning is at the heart of how we learn well and how we internalize ideas. And so my, my overall goal is that you do spend a lot of time thinking about these ideas, applying them to your own life and your work and, and the work that you're going to have in the future. Now the way we do that is uh, on my main website, um, I try to provide uh, lots of links and resources uh, to make the material easily accessible. And so we're going to use two primary portals. Uh, to access all those resources. One is my main website and the other is a Blackboard site. Uh, the Blackboard site is, is where you'll have your discussions and it's also where I house some of the readings for the class <clears throat> and so you'll find links off of my main website that take you to the Blackboard site and once you're there you'll have to log in using your UARC account uh, to access that material. My main website actually changes every day with the class and so I'll be updating uh, what's happening both that day and, and the day that's coming next. Uh, all that material comes off of the course schedule, which is available to you as a link on my main website. So if you want to see the whole semester and work ahead on some of the readings, you can do that. I also have daily video blogs. And sometimes it's me talking like this. Other times I'm using other resources and I'm, I'm putting them in a the video blog site for you to look at lectures from other faculty, for example. And, um, and as you're, uh, so every day as you're trying to get a sense of what it is that's expected, you want to you come back to the website and, and see what I've updated and what I've changed. Now, one of the things that I, I want to be clear about, though, is, is that while I provide all that to you up front, um, I don't want you to work ahead on the discussions. And this is not a correspondence class where you can just do all the work and then turn it in. Uh, it's a class with other people in it and, and people that I want you to learn from each other. So I've put some, some framework around the discussion that helps make that happen. Um, there's going to be uh, particular windows of opportunity where I want you to answer questions that I have and give us your first idea about how to solve a problem or how to think through a reading how to apply some new idea to a professional context. And then I'll have you not respond to what other people are writing until what I call the turn. And the turn will be a, a, a specific point in time that I've indicated during the day, at which point you are released to come back, read what other people have written, and then contribute. This gives everybody in the class an opportunity to participate in that initial phase of getting their own ideas out there before the discussion starts and and that way nobody will, will feel lost as long as you're able to contribute in a timely way. Now discussions happen all within one day. Again, it's an intercession class and so you will have to commit yourself to logging in and, and engaging um, in, the, in the earlier part of the day and in the later part of the day. And so I've opened up each discussion the night before so for those of you who really the evenings is an important working time for you, you could make an initial contribution the day before a discussion starts in that evening, wait all the way until the next evening to follow up. Um, if you're available throughout the day to easily spend time contributing, then you can come in in the morning and then after the turn, come back and anytime that late afternoon or evening contribute. So there's a lot of flexibility. 
uh, for when you engage the discussion. And, uh, and a, a tremendous amount of flexibility in when you engage the readings and the videos. So you can use your own time and manage it, manage it well. So, so that's how the, the semester works. Like I said, it moves fast. There's a discussion almost, almost every single day. And so you'll be engaged in the material and with each other every single day. Um, I'm easily accessible by email uh, and also through the discussion board. So if you have questions that other people might benefit from, you can ask it in the discussion board. Otherwise, you can send me an email and, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. It's the first time um, that, uh, that many of you have taken an ethics class. Um, and for some of you, maybe this will be old hat, but I think what you'll find is that even if you've taken a philosophy-based ethics class, our approach here is going to be a little bit different. Uh, and I'm looking forward to learning from all of you as the uh, intercession goes on. Thanks, and I'll see you online.